Welcome once again everyone to Biology 1406. I'm actually going to go through a little bit of the information you need, sort of an introduction to the syllabus, as well as to how the course is structured. So I'm your lecture instructor, so I'll actually be going over only the material that is relevant for lecture. So this material that I'm going to go over is also posted as an announcement, but I also wanted to walk you guys through it myself as well. So give me a second to pull it up and I'll walk with you guys through what I sort of expect going forward the first day. So first things first, um, almost like whenever we meet in person, you have syllabus your first day. You have a whole day dedicated to the syllabus. Unfortunately, since this is an online class, we're actually structured by weeks. So you won't have an entire week to go over the syllabus. It's something you really need to look at the first day. So immediate items, of course, is look through the syllabus. So that will give you an idea of the grade breakdown as well as uh, later on you'll have a calendar of events and that will actually show you when all the assignments are due and when the tests are due. So my personal recommendation is however you like to organize, do it that way. But for me, an actual physical printed calendar with all the dates on there. In fact, I have a calendar on my desk right now. I've also enabled in the left-hand navigation menu something called the course calendar, and so it should have the due dates up there as well. So one thing to note is that because we are organized weekly, you should expect to go through the content weekly. So there's a, a list of basically what we cover in that week. Because this is a fully asynchronous class, it is expected that you review those materials on about the time scale that they suggest on the syllabus. One thing to note is your tests, generally they are available to take on a Friday, the week that they are listed, and then they will close on uh, Sunday, so you'll have about two days to take uh, each test, but the specific course ca uh, calendar in the syllabus is um, is the definitive source to go to. Go to. So if that ever changes, um, you should expect some sort of update or announcement um, posted to this course. So the bulk of the material for lecture you can find under the left-hand navigation menu link called Lecture, PowerPoints, and Other Resources. So if you look at that, they're basically resources for lecture. Um, you'll also see in the left-hand navigation menu uh, Discussion Board. Um, that's uh, a link to your syllabus. and. Uh, a link to your overall grades. The My Grade link actually will tell you, um, give you a little bit of a course calendar as well and tell you when uh, some assignments are due, those that specifically have a due date entered in. Um, that's a, a little bit of a tricky Blackboard setting. Also, you'll notice that there is a link to your e-text. So if you opted in or did not opt out of included, include ed your the bundling of your textbooks with tuition it's a relatively new program and so there are a little bit of a hiccups but assuming you you did not opt out of that um, you will actually get be able to view the course text specifically through that link and it's in the left hand navigation menu I would encourage you all to actually view the lectures. I understand that they are a bit long, 
tried to shorten them as much as I could. If we were meeting in person, they would actually be about three hours long each. So that none of them are quite that long, but in some of them, especially when we get to the harder sections, the unit on genetics, I'll work through some example problems in those lecture videos. And if you aren't watching them, you won't get that extra practice or that example. Another thing that I started to do recently is actually give you guys uh, pro tips. So I plan on communicating with you guys weekly through the Blackboard announcements. And so that will sort of help set the stage of everything to expect for that week. The syllabus, of course, has it all listed out on a semester basis, but I'm going to communicate weekly so you guys are reminded on what to expect. Occasionally, I'll communicate more frequently and send out something sort of what I like to call pro tips. And there are common mistakes that have been made in previous semesters or some trend I see in the middle of this semester, which I need to get ahead of before it gains too much momentum. For instance, on our tests, there are common questions that students miss every single semester. And so occasionally you'll see a pro tip from me. So make sure to look at the announcements whenever you visit the course and actually take time to read through them because there's a little bit of helpful information in there including some tips that can help you be successful in this course. Office hours are by appointment. Um, we'll do them virtually through Blackboard, Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. And the link to that is just called Virtual Office Hours. And again, it's in the left-hand navigation menu. For discussion boards, in the past, I haven't had really strong participation, but that does give you an opportunity to ask your fellow classmates for help, as well as for me to potentially have, for students to potentially have a discussion with me in which we can sort of work through to find the solution to a like test problem or test review together. Ideally, you know, before you take the test, so you're more successful on it. Uh, but of course, we can always discuss that kind of thing afterwards as well. I specifically won't answer review questions via email. It's because they're almost never a quick response. So if you allow me to, if you schedule an office hour, then you allow me to sort of give you the full, more thorough explanation, as well as see uh, where you went wrong or what you did correctly. And also you can subscribe to the uh, discussion boards. I know students do occasionally like to do, uh, use apps to communicate specifically about her class. Um, if you want me to be a part of one, I won't respond instantaneously to those kinds of posts or chats, but I do, to ex do expect to respond to them about as frequently as I do email. On that note, because aside, uh, we are organized weekly, generally Sunday is the very last day to turn in anything for that week. I don't check my emails on Sundays, though, because I found that it can become overwhelming teaching online to check every single email as soon as you get it every single day and have no break whatsoever for the entire duration of the semester every semester. So I do take a day off Sundays where I observe a day of rest and do not check my emails. It's expected that you don't run into last minute issues every week or else there's a bigger problem we need to address. But if it's an emergency, you can email me any day of the week. It's just Sunday, you, that emergency will have to wait till Monday. Also, this is a 
quick reminder, we do have a certification assignment that you do need to complete basically within the first one or two days of course. And this uh, helps cert certify you as here or attended. It's for financial aid purposes and simply logging on to an online class is not sufficient to count as attended, you must complete an assignment. And so these are Dallas College regulations. It involves, specifically, it ties into your eligibility for financial aid and grants. So it's important that you complete that certification assignment first one or two days of class. If not, you will hear from me via email. And if you're really bad, you may actually get a phone call. So um, students that are most successful in this course are actually working through the content on a weekly basis, communicating with me if they have an issue. And actually, if I have an issue and I need to get in contact with a student, I'm most likely going to do it primarily through email. So it's important that the email addresses you have in eConnect are up to date and that those are email accounts in which you check. Also, if you have any other questions or want to hear more pro tips, you can schedule an office hour appointment. You can uh, post on the discussion board and that will allow me to answer the question once, um, but for every student to be able to, to sort of get that explanation. So that's another uh, benefit of the discussion board. Generally, only one or two students take me up on that offer, um, but I highly recommend it, either the discussion board or some sort of uh, app if you want to make and invite all your uh, classmates to, um, and I'll jump on that as well if you send me an invite. Um, it's best to communicate and get sort of a holistic all-encompassing like real experience for this even though it's online it's much more enjoyable and much more impactful if you engage with the content especially on the weekly basis if you have trouble contact me but also make sure you're using the resources i have available for you so i try not to make that too long it almost i almost always fail at that task this is about the same information that's posted on that and on this, uh, the welcome announcement I have for you. Um, so you don't need to watch slash read both. There also is a welcome video, which is completely different from this welcome intro announcement. That welcome video is just welcoming to you to the course and telling you a little bit about um, myself, my background, um, and just so that we kind of can at least say we talked and we communicated at least once. So uh, I will see you all in discussion boards and uh, via email or via office hour appointments. Uh, I'll see you when I see you, hopefully sooner rather than later. <laughs> see you guys later.